Hello, Internet, and welcome to another blockchain vlog. In this episode, we'll be checking out the Ledger Nano S and the HD wallets it has on Ethereum Geth. Here's the device, it's pretty small and compact. I like it a lot, and it's not too expensive. Pretty simple with just a couple of buttons here on the top. I personally like to flip it over and stick them on the bottom. Um, but let's go ahead and show you how to get it set up for the first time. To get started, go ahead and plug it in, and you'll get prompted for your PIN. Um, I'm assuming you've gone ahead and initialized your ledger at this point, and I'm just demoing how to integrate HD support into Geth. So log into your device, you'll see your applications, Bitcoin, Dash, Dogecoin, Ethereum. And you can activate Ethereum by pressing both buttons. And you'll see the screen, use wallet to view accounts. What you wanna do is scroll past it into the settings and head over to contract data and ensure that's set to allow. Also, your browser support should be disabled. When you're done, you can go back and you can quit the app when you're done. And that's all you need to get set up using HD wallets on Geth. For this next part, we're gonna go ahead and use our Chromebook, which we set up in our last video, and log into our Ubuntu session. If you remember that video, you need to type sudo start xfce4 from your shell in Chrome OS. Once you do, I'm just gonna open up a terminal window here and check out my Geth version. I've already upgraded, you can see 1.5.9, but I'll go ahead and help you uh, update if you've got 1.5.8. The first thing you wanna do is change into your Go Ethereum directory and then run git fetch origin. In that synchronization, you should see a new tag for v1.5.9. We just wanna git check out that tag and then we're gonna go ahead and make it just like we did before. So we'll type make and take a minute or so, and then we can copy it over to our main directory. Assuming everything's all right, just go ahead and launch geth with dash dash light as before. It'll take a couple of seconds to start syncing up. And in a separate window, I'm gonna go ahead and run geth attach. So allow me to interact with it and check my accounts. As you can see now, I have no accounts. It just reports no, because the device isn't plugged in. So here's my device again. I'm gonna go ahead and type my pin code in. And as soon as I do that, Geth will go ahead and start recognizing the device. And you'll see some messages here, new wallet appeared, and Ethereum app offline. So we've logged in, but we haven't actually logged into the Ethereum app. So we'll scroll over to Ethereum, activate that, and you'll see some messages like this, where now it says Ethereum app version 1.0.5 online. This is very important that not only do you have Geth 1.5.9, but also uh, Ethereum app 1.0.2 or higher. As you connect and disconnect, you'll see messages about wallets being added and dropped, and that's a good sign. So now that we've got our ledger attached, Let's go ahead and check our account balances. We see actually we have one account detected now, which is super cool that the ledger is reporting this and I didn't set up anything on this machine directly. The next thing I wanna do is send some money to it. I'm gonna use Jax on my mobile phone to send to this account, which I made a QR code for and scanned. And as soon as I do this, I see actually a second account's generated. This is the hierarchical deterministic wallets that we've been uh, looking for on some of these hardware wallets for Ethereum. So since it saw a first balance there, it's gonna generate a new ad receiving address for us. And I can go ahead and type eth.getbalance to check those account balances. So here I'm typing eth.getbalance, account zero, and you can see the balance there. I just hit the up key and change that to accounts one, you can see no balance there. So it seems to be working just right. Now after some trial and error trying to get a transaction sent with the appropriate amount of gas, 
Uh, I figured it out finally. I'm just deciding to send one way from one account to another. So go ahead and type this transaction here. And what I want to show you is what it looks like on the device. So rather than returning a transaction hash right away, on the ledger itself, you'll see a message. Actually, a few messages. First, the amount, and then the recipient address, the value, the fees, etc. And it'll be prompting you for approving a transaction. You just want to go ahead and click the check mark, and as soon as you do, you get a transaction hash, just as you would have expected had you sent it from a normal account loaded into Geth. You can take this transaction hash and look it up online. I'm doing an ETH.get transaction here, but for simplicity, I've gone ahead and shown you the page on Etherscan. It's a little bit easier to see. And I can check the balance of that new account and verify indeed it is one way. And check that the first sending account is decreased by a little bit more than a way because we had to pay gas fees. A little bit closer look, I wanted to show you on the Geth log screen, we can see the wallet detecting uh, new addresses. This is happening in the background, but good thing to know about if you are troubleshooting. When you're done, you can go ahead and hit the power button and log out, drop you back down into Chrome OS. And from here, I wanted to just go ahead and launch the official Ethereum app that ships for, Chrome, for Ledger, excuse me and show you that it sees a similar thing to what we saw. So you see 00057999999. Again, this is only the first account because the main app doesn't know about the hierarchical deterministic, but you can see we're seeing similar information. That's all folks. This has been a Ledger Nano S with Ethereum Geth 1.5.9, which enables hierarchical deterministic receiving addresses, improving a little bit of your security. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below. And if you want to make crypto grid again, go ahead and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media you use.